So then there are the particular ways in which George Galloway appealed to the voters of Bradford, which was an additional element in that, uh, in that Which were what? Well, George knows what it is. I mean, I mean what, how, when you've got a le campaign leaflet that goes out saying, God knows who is a Muslim and he knows who is not, instinctively so do you, sign George Galloway. And you think to yourself, how does George know that God knows who is a Muslim? Did God appear to you, George, uh, in tablets of stone? <laughs> was it written in fiery words on a stone wall or was it the burning bush this time? There is one God. There is one Islam. There is one Quran. Uh, Mr. George, I want to ask you one thing first of all. Or, or what, which religion you are? Not your business. Go ahead. Um, I, I'm ask, I want to ask you personal. Are you Christian or Muslim? That's none of your business. Go what? on to a, a, a proper question. Hello, guys. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Very good. Go ahead, sir. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, George. Alaikum salam, brother. George, uh, can you tell me when you came Muslim, please? I'm not sure uh, that question is a uh, proper question, so go on to your next one. George, are you a Muslim, George? Uh, you're in Colombia or, or you're in Zambia, which? Zambia, Zambia, Africa. Zambia, Africa, my goodness. Zambia. Go ahead, never mind about my religious beliefs. Go ahead and tell us what you want to say. Yes, 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 George. Why I'm particularly concerned? Because your behavior is just that of a Muslim and the way you favor the Muslim world really impresses me, George. It's none of your business uh, what my religion is, Khan. God knows uh, what's uh, in everybody's heart. So, do you have a better point to make? No, thanks so much. Thank you. I believe there's only one God. There's only one Islam. There's only one Quran. God is great. The city with the mosque called Al-Aqsa from which the Prophet Muhammad ascended to the heaven to come back with the revelation uh, from the Al-Aqsa in which the Prophet, peace be upon him, ascended to the heaven and came back with the revelation. So we should have a law worldwide. Well, I, I personally am in favor of that law. I don't think that people should insult other people's religions. No good can come of it. A lot of hurt and harm can come of it. Religion is something at the core of human identity, and people yeah. should not uh, willy-nilly traduce it. My point of view is that nobody should insult anybody else's religion. Of course, in this country there's freedom of speech, but it cannot be an unlimited freedom of speech. And other freedoms must trump it, including the freedom not to be terrorized in your own home, not to have your prophet insulted, your religion insulted. And it's dangerous to attack somebody's religion. They're saying they're atheists, but that's not the point. Well, it's unbelievably insensitive and provocative, yeah, Sarah. I, I, mean, know, I, I you know, know nothing it, uh, I mean, about I mean, it. Maybe uh, others yeah. can phone in if they're equally angry, or maybe they support the right of uh, thousands of people to draw or paint the Prophet Muhammad, uh, which is, of course, a, a forbidden thing to do uh, in Islam. And uh, it would appear that some people haven't learned the lessons of the kind of trouble that such things have caused in the near uh, recent past. We say to these young angry Muslims, we know you're angry. You are right to be angry. We will stand with Iran and we will mobilize hundreds of thousands of people in Britain beside us. Take a look around you at this crowd. If you dare touch a hijab on a Muslim woman's head, if you dare, if you dare, if you dare touch the hair on the beard of a Muslim man in Tal Hamlets, you will have to fight your way through 10,000 dead bodies first. Thank you very much indeed. Where is the worldwide boycott campaign? And where is the attempt in the United States by the two billion Muslims in the world as opposed to what, 10, 12, 15 million Jews? So we can blame the United Nations and I do. We could blame the United States and I do. We could blame Britain and I do. We could blame the European Union and I do. I should uh, apply for the post soon to be vacant of Secretary General of the Arab League. Uh, I'm available if they want to engage me as the Secretary General of the Arab League. I could uh, certainly improve their position, I can uh, assure you. How many Muslims do you know who are 
around uh, Obama, apart from himself. Well, uh, quite a few, uh, as a matter of fact, and his father uh, was a Muslim, and his name is Barack Hussein Obama, and he understands the Muslim world very well. Thank you very much. The biggest terrorists are the United States of America and Great Britain, because they have made a Faustian pact with the devil, with the great